Mark Fixes Star Hello YouTube and welcome to another exciting episode of Mark Fixes Stuff. In this episode, I'll be opening a package from Mr. Matt Marr, the man who has a name that sounds like an 80s pop idol. That's right, Matt Marr. Never gonna change my love for you. Or something along those lines. So, uh, let's open this up. I've got an idea what's in here. Apparently it's a surprise. So what I'm expecting is about three and a half uh, pounds of dog shit, quite frankly. Here we go. <sighs> It would be surprising if it was dog turds, to be honest. Because usually, you know, e even in a joke, people can't be bothered with the old dog turds. Look at this, look, look. No expense spared. The cost of black bags these days costs a fortune. But this way up, so the urine bottles don't leak. Oh my goodness. It still says this way up inside. What the hell? Oh yes. That's it. That's what we want. What we want. No opening. Goodness. Oh. I might actually run out of energy before I open the box. Let's see. There we go. Let's slit it open. Well, the packaging's good, Matt. I'll give you that for the price of a first-class stamp. Let's go around this side so as not to disturb the camera, which is giving you a look into my world. Right. Let's go. Reopen it up and find a copy of Razzle or something like that. Okay, here we go. Right, okay, what's this? First off, that's cool, look. Star Wars 2, The Force Unleashed. Oh, thank you, Matt. That's a lovely little gift there. Look. Look at the size of his sabre. Yes. All pert. Reminds me of when I was younger. Anyway, thank you. Oh, there's something on the back. Oh, look. There seems to be some sort of earthing failure on his uh, weapons and he's being electrocuted and screaming in absolute agony. Ah, if only I'd worn wellies. Anyway, we'll put that on one side. Cool. The force unleashed. It looks dreadfully painful. Right, onto the meat in this sandwich. Right, first off, we've got the Spectrum Handbook by Tim Langdell. Sorry, I keep going off camera shot here. Uh, look, all sorts of cool. Ooh. Oh, that's really quite cool. Look, look, you can draw a bike. <laughs> yes, get outside and play. Put that and draw a bike on my ZX Spectrum. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll put that on one side. Very cool. I love it. What else have we got here? Now uh, the ubiquitous uh, manual. I'll put that to one side for now. Let's see, uh, empty bags. Always good. Put my soiled underwear in um, after making this exciting video. Okay, let's just tip that up a bit and uh, put the manual to that side. Um, some sort of bizarre sex toy, I think. I'm not quite sure what you do with that. Oh, Mr. Wembley. Uh, yes, uh, very cool. Auto fire joystick. Missing its auto fire cover, it would appear. So, uh, find something to cover that. Bags, bags, bags. More bags, and more bags, and more bags, and more bags. Jesus Christ, man. Where's his shop? Let's have a look. Let's have a look into the mind of Mr. Matt Marr. Oh, it goes to Asda. Right, okay. Very nice. I'm saying nothing. I shot my Aldi, so there you go. Um, more bags. 
Right, meat and a sandwich. Very good, I've been after one of these for ages, so thank you very much, Matt. It's actually a tape player. I hope it works and it will be made up because I really, really need a tape player. A proper vintage tape player with a DIN socket. Awesome. Here, mic and rem. So it's got remote control as well. Excellent stuff. Probably give that a little polish up and a clean out inside in a uh, future video. Very good. Thank you, matey boy. What else have we got here? Uh, the manual, which I will move to one side. No one cares about the manual. Uh, cable. No, not the uh, Marvel superhero cable, but um, what looks like a power cable. A power cable? Can that possibly be right? Yes, I think it is. Yes, it is a Sinclair power brick. Move that to one side. Go a bit faster than usual because I haven't got a lot of space. Machine. Oh, look, a boxed cheetah. One, two, five joystick. Look at the condition of that. This one has got its also fire um, cover on it, which is nice. Good, good. Well pleased with that. Thank you, Matt. Another aerial cable to go into the snake's nest. Uh, pop that to that side. Bubble wrap. That's it, I'm stuck now for hours. Oh God, do it, do it, yeah. Okay, get rid of that. A DIN connector. Very nice. What's this here? Oh, look, a box Spectrum joystick interface for 48128K. I have a suspicion that this will not work on the machine that's in the box because I am fairly sure that the output, uh, the um, edge connector is a different pinout. And if it works on a 48K, it won't work on this machine. Let's have a look here. Here we go. You've all guessed it already, obviously. It's actually really difficult to keep things in camera shot. Um, doing this video. Oh. My beautiful, beautiful wife has been some sewing on the table just there. And uh, yeah. So, what do we think, gang? It is a fairly clean example of a ZX Spectrum Plus 3. Very nice. With the really, really wanky uh, three inch drive that, quite frankly, um, Alan Michael Sugar installed onto the beautiful Spectrum so that he could sell those fairly fucking wanky three inch diskettes that he uh, started importing and selling for the um, CPC, which is fine. So, oh yeah, that's cool. Thank you, Matt. Put that to one side. Um, I'm gonna be refurbing the drive on this. Obs, as they say, the youth. And um, let's see what we've got in the box. Well, it's uh, Mercury, so uh, if I open this box, it's Freddie Mercury's ashes, we're in trouble, because um, I already sold those on eBay and it will show me up. So let's open this up and see what we got here. We have Chart Busters by Ocean. Okay, um, instructions. And it is on a three inch disc, very nice. So that's got uh, Stallone Cobra, Short Circuit, Green Beret, um, not sure what that is, mother fucker maybe. <laughs> yeah, what come through that? And The Great Escape, which is a brilliant game. Um, that it's Spectrum cassette of hard driving. Very nice, and a bit of a porno title if you ask me. California Games, which was uh, £1.50 when they bought it, and uh, see that's on cassette, lovely. Uh, another 3 inch Amstrad, Super Test 1, Super Test 2, Cosmic War Toad. That actually looks like that might be for the uh, Amstrad, so uh, yeah, it'd be interesting. It's got some sort of, yeah, it's got the Amsoft logo underneath that label. I wonder what's on there. Let's have a look at that. 
as fell. Psycho Pigs, UXB bitches. Let's see what we've got here. Take set, fairly good condition, lovely. Pentagram, pole position, jetpack, Galaxians. Uh, Night Law, oh, this is, these are all um, legitimate. <laughs> Beachhead 2, Bounty Pop Punk the Master. Decathlon, Decathlon. Well, blimey, look at the state of that. Look at that, proper piracy that is. Proper piracy, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> if you ask me, uh, Batman, I'll be doing a playthrough of this, Batman. Code name Matt. Oh, isn't that nice, Matt? Oh, you, they wrote a game about you in the 80s when you were a pop star. Look at your pop star outfit in the background, like some kind of boogly version of the Pet Shop Boys. Millimon. Yeah, man, Millimon. Have you got an AM for my room? I have no idea what Millimon is, but it sounds like something that you'd shout out in the middle of a reggae number. Steve Davis, Snow Car. I actually remember that. It's brilliant. Hello, I'm compatible with the camera micro speech. Awesome. I haven't, I haven't got a camera micro speech. What's this here? Rock and Wrestle. Actually, looks pretty good. Clearly, not the Spectrum graphics on the back. The old trick they used to do then. Frog Hopper. I wonder if that's a rip-off of Frogger. I wonder. Probably not. Or probably yes. Uh -huh, that's what we've got here. Waxworks. Ooh, Mysterious Adventures number 11. So that's happened here, but someone seems to have gone and trimmed all of the cards. Some kind of scumbag. Or are they all ones that have come in this Dixon's Not Much Fun pack or something? Let's see. So we've got a Dixon's branding on the thing. Yeah, Dixon's pack. Look how cheap that is. Awesome. I love the cheapness of 80s computers. Crash Presents, January 1991. Dizzy 3.5. Yeah, what? Well, that's worth looking at, actually. Hmm. Other crap on there as well. Um, Wally Kong. Well, I'll tell you, Dixon really did um, do some really straight up rip offs. Wally Kong. What the hell? Um, Spectrum Chess 2. Another Dixon's thing. Haunted Hedges. That's going to be a Dixon's thing. Yeah. Dixon's pack. Man, that's just Pac Man. Super Grand by Tinesoft. Oh my god. An actual licensed game of Super Grand. I vaguely remember seeing this in the back of magazines, and I bet it's really awful. Oh, look. Look at the luxury actually having a tab. Well, and it's Dixon's pack as well. Oh, my God. Why did they pack that crap in? Let's, let's read this quickly. A truly amazing game with superb graphics on eight action pack screens. See if you can help Super Grand to crush that evil scanner Campbell and his boy's tub and rent a muscle. All of the actors in Super Grand. Get back in the case. Fuck! No! Did they put me in the keys? Sorry for my Scotch views, that was pretty offensive. Night Gunner. Ooh. How's that? By RJ Swift. It's nothing. I'm sure it's brilliant. Um, now we're into crazy cars. Budget. Um, Yogi Bear, budget. I've got a copy of that upstairs actually. Uh, Cave Mania again. I think I've got a copy of that. I just palmed it off on someone. Um, BMX Ninja, yes. At the time when everybody just jammed Ninja and BMX into a title to make it sell, they decided to actually make one called BMX Ninja because, uh, yeah, it doubles the sales. And it probably did. Absolutely no ninja content whatsoever none okay um power drift which if i recall was a, a snes game that they badly ported across oh screenshots taken from various computer formats and uh, magic carpet which is a 16k 48k spectrum game so must have been fairly early on Actually, let's have a quick look at that one. Uh, 
The aim of the game is to be called Donna. Yes, Donna. Um, you're a lad in. Hero of the Orient with your little else beside your youth, wits and magic carpet. Yes. What have you got? Nothing but my wits and youth and a magic carpet. Well, I think that pretty much like, sums that one up. So, uh, yes. And uh, some kind of cable thing, which is obviously for powering the cassette. Um, you can look at the manual now because it's probably given that away. Ba -ba -bom, plus three. And what else have I got here? That dirty great big power supply. Again, plus three power supply. We'll give that a roll later. Back to the box. I want to go back to the box. This is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff saying thanks for watching. You must be absolutely crackers. Uh, subscribe to get your fix. Uh, see you soon. Thank you, Matt. Sorry about all the cracks about the 80s uh, pop star. <laughs>